Hello everyone, my name is John Howie Met. I'm the financial planner here at Generation Capital Management, and this is another installment of John's Top Tips. Today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about some strategies for paying down your debt. You know, we talk a lot about learning about your debt, uh, trying to figure out how your debt actually works, how your credit score works, but we haven't spoken about actually paying down your debt. So let's dive into that today. Uh, the first tip that I have is to actually start to understand your relationship with money. Um, if we don't understand our relationship with money or the reason why we got into debt in the first place, uh, when we get out of debt or when we start to work to get out of debt, we're just going to end up back in that cycle again. Uh, so taking a moment to understand ourselves and why we're in the debt in the first place is an important first step. Now, while you're working on that, uh, we're going to, of course, try to not to add to our balances anymore and we're going to use kind of this, uh, this methodology called the one card strategy. So we'll start putting excess payments towards one particular card, one particular credit card that we have. Now it's often recommended to choose the highest interest rate uh, card, but I say put extra payments towards your highest interest rate card that's not from a retailer. So if you got a credit card that's linked to a particular store in the mall or something like that, that's not the type of card that we want to target. Um, and the reason for that is because there's another strategy that we want to use, and that's utilizing a 0% balance transfer offer. And those store cards don't usually offer balance transfers. Now, a balance transfer is when you move your credit card balance from one card to another. And you might receive a 0% balance, uh, balance transfer offer in the mail if you open a new card. Or uh, your existing credit card company might offer you a 0% balance transfer if you pay off enough of your balance on that particular card. Now, the 0% period usually lasts for less than a year, and you typically pay a fee of about 3% of the balance that you transfer to that new card, but that's usually much lower interest and can give you a bit more breathing room to pay down other debt. Now, just remember, um, like I said before, those retailer or store cards won't offer this benefit, so you have to be aware, and you also need to develop a strong pay down strategy to try to utilize that 0% balance or that 0% interest rate for as long as possible in as much of a uh, in as much of an efficient manner as possible. Now, it might also be possible to consolidate your credit card debt into better debt. Uh, by better debt, I mean things like home equity loans or a cash out refinance. Now, interest rates on home loans have increased but they're still measurably lower than uh, the interest rate on say a, a variable rate credit card. Um, another choice for consolidation is using a loan from your employer employer sponsored plan. Um, oftentimes our employer sponsored plans have provisions built into them that allow us to take a certain amount of money as a loan against our balance. Um, not necessarily a great choice, but it could be a better choice than carrying a high interest uh, credit card loan. Um, now, it is important to say the very first step to all of this is understanding your relationship with money and if you uh, are in the credit card debt to begin with because of overspending, addressing the overspending. If there were uh, situations, uh, emergencies that led to you developing a, a credit card balance, then it might be worth it to figure out how to start to build up an emergency fund while we're trying to pay down this credit card debt. It can seem like a lot, but it's really important to understand our relationship with money, the reasons why we got into this debt, and to get our spending under control before we take these drastic measures that I've discussed today, um, because we only really have one opportunity to get this right. We're kind of threading the needle with things like plan loans and uh, home loans, things of that nature. So we have to make sure that we really do get it right. Uh, but if we do get it right, it can really lift a weight off of our shoulders. So do you have that weight on your shoulders? If you do, feel free to reach out to me. My email address is jhow at gencapmgmt.com. I'd be happy to talk about that to you. We offer free consultations. We can see what you have going on, see if we can help you out. Uh, or you can check out our website. We have a lot of great resources there, www.gencapmgmt.com. Again, my name is John Howiemet. I'm the financial planner here at Generation Capital Management, and this was another episode of John's Top Tips.